Okay, so now we're gonna work with chat models. We just saw how an LLM works. It's a very simple input-output task. Uh, there's not a lot going on there, except more so what's going on in the prompt and the model you're using. And so with chat models, uh, things are a little bit different. Now we're actually trying to interface with this model and have a conversation with it. And so the input to the model is not just a string of text how we had beforehand, like such, just what is the boiling point of water in Fahrenheit. Uh, now it's going to be a, a, a sequence of messages. And so we can import chat GPT using uh, lanechain.chat models. And we, I'm going to set the temperature equal to zero because uh, I just want it to be able to give consistent output for the sake of this demonstration. And then I'm going to say that the max tokens it's allowed to input and output is 100. Um, and so the thing is, is that we have three different types of messages in a chat conversation here. We have a system message. The system message is going to set the tone for the conversation. You can think of the system message as whispering in the language model's ear. I think that's a little bit too much of a personification, but you can think of it that way. And so what the system message does is it's going to tell the language model, it's going to say, you are a helpful assistant that translates English to French. That's all it's going to do. And then the language model is now that the tone of the conversation has been set that this is what this language model is set to do. And then we're going to follow it up with a human message. I can create a human message like this in Langchain by saying, I love programming. And so this, this, the conversation doesn't really start until the human message is sent in. And then once I send this in, the chat message is then going to be, we have to wait for these to load a little bit, but it, it translates I love programming into French and it produces it right here. And then it returns an AI message object in lane chain. And so a chat message is gonna be a sequence. It's gonna start off of a system message, or at least I advise creating a system message because it can help. And then it's gonna be a sequence of human, AI, human, AI, human, AI uh, messages. And now let's have a conversation with it. And so I'm gonna run this cell real quick. And so what this cell is gonna do is we're gonna load in our chat model again. We're gonna set the system message to say that, hey, chatbot, you're a friendly chatbot that likes to have conversations. This while loop is going to uh, ask for your input, and then after your input, it's going to add it to this context, which is the, the, uh, the conversation history, and then the model is going to respond, and then the model response is even added to the context to keep the conversation history going, and then we're going to print out the model response. So at every given point when the model responds, it's going to take as input the entire content, the entire conversation history up to this point. So I'm going to start off by saying, hello, how are you? And we got to wait for a second. It says, hello, I'm just a computer program, so I don't have feelings, but I'm functioning properly and ready to chat with you. How can I assist you today? Um, I am trying to learn how to program. I'm trying to learn how to build language models. Let's see what it says. And sometimes it does take a few seconds. Oh, this is a lengthy one. That's great. Building language models can be challenging learning tasks. You have a good understanding of NLP, many resources. Good luck with your learning. Thanks. I'll read these. You're welcome. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask, and then we can quit. And cool. And so let's think like right here, right? When the AI, when the when the chatbot was uh, producing, you're welcome. If you have any questions or need further assistance, what it was taken as input was this entire conversation beforehand. So it had all this context, and then it produced this uh, sentence: "You're welcome." And so right here, when it went to go respond and says, "That's great. Building large language models can be challenging, but rewarding." It took as input these top three. And mention it, not to mention it also had the system message at the top to set the tone. And so you can actually play with this. I would say, you know, try different things and, you know, work with the chatbot and uh, have fun. But this is how you have a conversation. And hopefully you now see the difference between working with a raw LLM in LangChain versus a chat model in LangChain.